you talked about getting in front of getting in front of these players that you know you're going to have to pay big money. And yeah. That is maybe exactly what the Texans did not do, obviously with yeah, Jadavion right. Clowney. Right. Uh, there's a trade to Seattle when it happened. Every on Twitter blew up. It's like they got screwed. They got ripped off. They got they got lambasted on this whole thing. I would love to hear a different perspective on how it maybe was a was a move that they had to do and right. it worked out okay for them. But what, what was your reaction to Jadavion Clowney and, and what they got back? From, yeah. From Seattle. Okay. So the, the first thing is I don't think they got screwed as much as like everybody's trying to make it out. All right. Well, one, Jadavion Clowney had all the power here. I mean, the Texans, they're looking like they're looking to win right now. They need players right now. They realize they have Deshaun Watson on his rookie quarterback contract. He's not taking up $35 million a year, like you're saying, where you, you got to start thinking about how to orchestrate your roster now because you're paying a big chunk of change that way. Um, so, Again, I don't think they were going to get nearly the value in the trade as far as the value for the player overall. Yeah. Okay, they felt that Jadavion was going to willing to sit out the whole year like Le'Veon. Willing to sit out, at least willing to sit out an extended period of time sure. to where maybe yes, he came back to make sure the year counted as a credited year, right? right? Uh, and to where then maybe if he had to get in a tough situation next year, he could find another way to do it. Whatever, e either way, either way, they did not like that. Okay, so they wanted to get him off the books, change the subject, not have a distraction. They got a few guys that play that position in general, a Barcavius Mingo, right, who can play that. They got another linebacker in the trade as well. Okay, but I, I think the big thing is the third round pick is where they looked at it and generally and said, okay. But the, the, big, the big thing more importantly to what the value of the Houston Texans to me is, really what the Seattle Seahawks did. Sure. Because the Seattle Seahawks, and I just want anybody that's listened to my podcast, whether I, when I was a Bleacher Reporter now, Jadeveon Clowney is one of the best defensive players in football. His sacks and tackles are never going to say it. That's just not the kind of guy he is. He's not a, like a legit 12, 15 sacks a year type guy. Because he had microfracture surgery on his knee, he's even admitted this to me on my podcast before, that he can't bend around the edge and do those things. Sure. He kind of has to win with power and other moves and hand fighting and doing that. Either way, with my famous stat of F the playup stat, this guy, other than Aaron Donald, I would tell you the last three years is probably towards the top of football as far as the design of plays up on a play-by-play -play basis. I mean, busting through the line of scrimmage and the quarterback's got to move and somebody else gets the sack. Yep. Ruining a running scheme and the running back goes somewhere else and somebody else gets to tackle. But the play was made by Jadeveon Clowney. So and all of his Seattle teammates just got better. What? They just got better. I mean, Seattle's front seven goes from being really good when all healthy and Jerron Reed's back from suspension to – now we can, oh, are they the best front seven in football? Yeah. I mean, that's what they went. They went to, ooh, they're really good to, ooh, maybe it's the best. When you talk about him, Ezekiel Anza, LJ Collier at the end of the first round, who's, who hasn't played yet but is about to be healthy and ready to go here. Okay, Jerron Reed, who has a six-game suspension, who's one of the best interior D tackles in football. Puna Ford in the middle is a hell of a player out of Texas. And then you talk about Bobby Wagner, K.J. Wright, and Michael Kendricks to go with it. I go, ooh, watch out for that team but the, the Seahawks are very much back to the formula that will got them to Super Bowls waves of pass rushers oh oh gosh the second groups in oh I could take a breather no oh no no the second groups in and they're like as good as most first team starting <laughs> defense alliance right. and that's where it's special to me so I'm not as worried about the Texans getting jobbed on this trade as I am for what they gave up for the next trade to the Miami Dolphins to me that was the one where I scratched my head and said Whoa, that's right. like they just paid like superstar compensation for guys that are good. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.